Hello everyone! In this video you can watch me make a large uh, flower geode tray and as promised I will show you again how I use cling film to create texture. So this will be a matching geode flower tray for the courses I already made in a previous video in which I used also the cling film. So I will use the same colors and I will include the link to that video in the right corner. So I hope you will enjoy watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. So I already added a thin layer of resin into the silicon mold. Then I waited for 45 minutes and I'm using the uh, resin from Resin Pro. It's their low viscosity resin and so that means very thin. And that's why I'm waiting for 45 minutes so that the resin can uh, become a little bit thicker. And on top of that I'm uh, adding the alcohol ink. I'm using the same colors as the coasters I made, so I use the Dippon uh, Intense Teal color and the Ranger Pitch Black. So on top of the thin layer, the alcohol ink, and you only need a thin layer of resin to create a nice flower. And I'm going to use cling film, so this will be a tray in several layers, because I want to create texture and uh, hopefully that will be visible on uh, the other side of my geode tray. Adding a little bit more of the teal color. And I was very happy with the courses I made um, with that cling film. So hopefully this tray will also be nice. And I'm using the silicon mold from Molds and Shapes. It's the extra large uh, geode tray. And if you're interested in their silicon mold, the link to the website is in the description below this video. I think they have great quality silicon molds, and you for sure will not be disappointed. And if you use my code, promo code, just paint five. You will get 5% discount on your order. But the information to that is in the description below this video. Now I'm going to blend the teal and the black together. There you can see it. I'm using a dotting tool because the dotting tool doesn't have a sharp tip. So I can't damage the mold this way. And the resin I'm using has a working time of one and a half hours, so that's why I waited for 45 minutes, because the, re uh, uh, the resin needs to be uh, thicker before you add the flower design. Using my embossing tool to remove air bubbles. So I never use a torch only an embossing tool or a heat gun. And I'm going to add the first color and this is made with the Resitint Max Indigo Nights and a few drops of the drop-in tint from Dippon in the color Royal Blue. Thank you. 
and also white and this is made with a Resitin Max titanium white and a few drops of the Let's Resin alcohol ink in the color white. And randomly I'm adding these lines to see what effect I can create with that. Again, the blue color, there you can see it. And some white again. And I added it into a piping bag, then you have a better control over the line you are adding on top of the resin. And I'm also using my silicon pen to add some lines. So if you use a thin layer then you need to wait uh, with a long working time, then you need to wait for at least 45 minutes before you add the flower design. So it all depends on your working time of the resin you are using. But yeah, I love to experiment with different resin brands to see uh, what the difference is. Now I'm going to make some lines with my dotting tool from the outside to the inside. There you can see it. using my embossing tool to remove air bubbles. Again, adding some heat to create effects. So all the supplies I'm using in this video you can find at the end of the video but also in the description below this video with the link to the website. So if you're curious check out the description below this video. So I'm almost done with this uh, thin layer. I will let it dry for one hour and then I will show you if it changed or not. So we are one hour later and I'm really liking the effects on this side of my uh, geode flower tray. You can see the nice blue and white that spread to the Outside, very nice. So this will need to dry for at least 24 hours before I can add a thin layer of clear resin 
with the cling film to create that texture that I also made um, with the coasters. But so far I'm very pleased how this side looks of my uh, geode tray. Very nice. So we are 24 hours later and now I'm going to uh, add the cling film. So first a thin layer of clear resin. I'm using the same resin from Resin Pro, the low viscosity resin. If you are interested in the Resin Pro supplies, the link to their website is in the description below this video. And I also have a promo code for their website. If you use my code PETRA, then you will get 10% discount. But also the information to that is in the description. So a very thin layer. Pushing it against the edge of the silicon mold with my steering stick. And now on top I'm going to add that cling film. There you can see it. I'm pushing it into the resin. And with my fingers I'm creating the texture. Yeah, in my uh, uh, previous video in which I made the coasters, I lost a part of the video in which I removed the cling film. So now in this video I'm going to show you how I do that. But it's not that difficult. So hopefully this texture will be visible on the other side of the geode tray because the other side of the geode tray will be the side I'm going to use. So I'm almost done. I will let this dry again for 24 hours and after that I'm going to remove the cling film. So we are 24 hours later and I'm going to show you how I remove the cling film and it's very easy. There you can see it. And now I've created that texture. It looks pretty. Now I'm using uh, one of my mica pigments. This is the Aurora Blue. I just added uh, five Aurora colors to my Etsy shop. And uh, hopefully this color will be visible on the other side of the tray. Because that's, that's the side I'm going to use. But um, this is an interference mica pigment. You can use it as is. What I'm doing now. 
on top of a resin, but you can also use it in the resin and also in another color to make the color lighter or give it a nice blue sheen. So many possibilities with this uh, Aurora pigment and there are five colors. Blue, red, purple, green and gold. So if you are interested in these interference mica pigments, they are listed in my Etsy shop. The link to my Etsy shop is in the description below this video. And also these uh, interference mica pigments are available in the USA by my associate Evelyn Schaefer. The link to her Etsy shop is also in the description. And I'm using an eyeshadow applicator for this. So in some place, um, places I'm adding this uh, Aurora blue color. And also another color. This is the blue Tevita. Very light shade of blue. Also available in my Etsy shop. So on top of the structure, I'm adding these mica pigments. And only on the places where I think the resin is transparent. On the edge, I'm using iridescent mica flakes. Very nice. So I'm only using the mica pigments and the iridescent mica flakes on the transparent parts. And on top of this, this, I'm going to add a resin layer because if I leave it like this, it will not be visible on the other side of the geode tray. So I need to add a resin layer to make those colors visible. And I'm using a white color. I also did that with the um, with the coasters and uh, what I already mentioned in the beginning I want to make a matching uh, tray so that's why I use a white resin layer more of the white color because the structure needs to be totally below the resin. And I also want to mention I have my own Facebook group. So if you are already using my Just Paint supplies, Come and join my uh, Facebook group and share your art. And um, yeah, I'm very curious what you create with my uh, supplies. So the link to my Facebook group is in the description below this video. So I'm done. I will let this dry and then I will take it out of the mold. So the resin is dry. Now I'm going to take my tray out of the silicon mold. I have some uh, spillage or overflow, so I need to uh, work on the edges, but that's no problem. But I'm very curious how the other side looks. It 
it's out of the mold. Now we can take a closer look. And there you can see it. I think it looks nice. I love the structure on the edges. Yeah, you can't see it that well. Uh, but at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a close-up. Then you can see it much better. But I think it looks nice. Some great effects. And those colors go very well together. So this is the end result, I have it outside in the daylight and hopefully you can see the ir iridescent effects that I added with the mica pigments and the iridescent flakes. But I love the structure, there's a lot of depth. And the effects are amazing. And it looks like the coasters I made in my previous video, so, so that's also nice. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and will give me a thumbs up for it. And hopefully you subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you all for watching again. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.